Hey guys, it's Fire Guy 1030 Today we're going to be uh, making a video on how to make sulfur. And this is sulfur right here, the number 16 on the periodic table. And with the right chemicals, it's really easy to make. Okay, so we have measured out 100 milliliters of water. And we measured out uh, 12 grams of sodium thiosulfate. Um, and we will dissolve this into the 100 milliliters uh, of water. This is actually about 120. And this should dissolve easily. Um, if not, just heat it a little bit just to get it all dissolved. You need all of it dissolved before you proceed the reaction. So now we're going to measure uh, 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Be careful and wear gloves while doing this. Anywhere from 40 to 50 milliliters is okay. Now what you want to do is you want to pour the hydrochloric acid into the uh, sodium thiosulfate solution and you should see a precipitate of uh, sulfur um, and it should turn white at first but um, eventually it will turn a little bit milky and then to yellow and you'll just need to wait a bit for that to precipitate out and it will settle to the bottom. Okay, so now I've had it sit out for a couple of hours, sorry about that, um, and you can see it's yellow at the very bottom of the uh, beaker, and that's where the, most of the sulfur has collected. It actually looks a little bit green. I don't know why, but um, yeah, you can see most of it is down there at the bottom. And now pretty much what you want to do is uh, take the, uh, you don't even really need a filter if you want to catch the rest of what, what's going to come out, but if you've left it there long enough, it will stay at the bottom and just decant off most of the liquid. So you should probably leave it for a couple of hours, otherwise it won't all stay at the bottom. Okay. So now you can see there's a nice yellow, uh, very smelly uh, sulfur at the bottom of the beaker. Um, and what I'm just going to do is take a spoon or my spatula and I'm just going to scrape everything off of that. Okay, so I scooped all of the, uh, most of the sulfur I could get out of here, and I put it on this watch glass, which I uh, let dry for a little while, a couple hours, um, and then it uh, kind of powdered, um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it looks uh, yellow, um, but on camera it looks like a little white, and so we're going to do a test for uh, sulfur with potassium nitrate. Okay, so as you can see in the test tube, um, I have placed a small amount of potassium nitrate, um, and we will be uh, melting that, and then I will add in the sulfur that we just made, and we will see the reaction. Now just use some sort of torch to get this um, molten. The torch is acting up a bit. And move it around so you don't burn through your test tube. You should also be wearing glasses and obviously gloves for this one. And you need to make sure it's completely molten before you do it, otherwise the uh, reaction won't work. You can see on camera it's kind of falling down and turning into a nice liquid. Looks pretty cool. take a while. It is almost completely molten. Okay. I'm going to keep heating that so it doesn't see a nice reaction of sulfur um, with molten potassium nitrate and is producing sulfur dioxide I believe um, so be careful I 
I have done this uh, with um, titanium powder. Not very good idea. And that is the sulfur actually burning. And that's pretty much it. Um, so that's how you test if you made the sulfur right. And as you can see, there's a nice layer of sulfur and other chemicals in there that can't really tell what they are. And the potassium nitrate seems to be still molten. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.